Hey guys, this is Rock King 3 bringing you the live commentary, Forza 6. And this is going to be a build and tune for E Class. This very first car that we're going to do, this is going to be my first build and tune for Forza 6. We're going to go to the upgrade shop. This is the uh, Toyota 2000 GT. It starts, it starts at uh, mid E's. And uh, this is going to be for the oval tracks. So this is going to be a very unique build. Um, but we want to get you guys something good to go um, on E-Class. So engine swap is stock, drivetrain is stock, aspiration is the Centrifuga Supercharger. Make sure you buy that first. The glitch is still real. If you don't buy it first and you equip it and then unequip it, you can't re-equip it. All right, let's go down to the engines. Engine, we're going to have stock air filter, stock carburetor, stock ignition, stock exhaust, stock cams, stock valves, stock block, stock pistons. We're going to have the race centrifuge supercharger that is 26 horsepower for 10 pi. We have the race intercooler that is 14 for 3. And then we have the Sport Oily and Cooling. That's pretty unusual, but you can see we can get a little bit more horsepower out of it. We get four more horsepower for that move. And then we have the stock flywheel. Uh, we're going to have no brakes, so just the stock brakes on that. We have the race spring and dampers. We have the race front anti-roll bar and the race rear. We have the stock chassis. You can see it just moves our PI up. We don't want to ruin our top speed. Hey, filthy. Uh, we have the stock weight reduction, so no weight reduction on that one. We have the stock clutch. We have the street transmission. We have a stock drive line, and we have the race differential. For tires, we're going to have stock tire compound. Stock tire width in the front, stock tire width in the rear, and we're going to have stock wheels. Aero, we're going to have the Toyota free move front bumper. We're going to have the non adjustable rear wing, and we have the Toyota remove rear bumper as well. All right, so that's all the parts. Let's go ahead and go to the tune. Um, this is unusual, the tire pressure. I bumped it up quite a bit. This allows for a couple more miles per hour. Um, 31 PSI in the front and 31 in the rear. Uh, the gearing is stock, so no change there. Alignment is going to be pretty flat. We have a negative 0.6 and a negative 0.6, 0, 0, and 5, 0. Anti-roll bars, kind of standard. Um, you have to be really careful with turning in this. You can overturn it real easily. Uh, but 19.26 and 22.51 for the rears. Um, balance the springs out 535.9 and 535.8. Right height, they left uh, stock at 4.4 and 6.4. Dampening 10.3 and 11.0. And bump stiffness 2.1 and 1.9. Arrow is non existent, so that is stock. Uh, brakes are stock, so we can't make any changes there. Uh, this part doesn't matter a whole lot differential, so I just put 35, 35 just to give it a nice round number. So this car tops out, and I don't think it makes it to that 164. I think it's close. I think it's about 162. Um, but this is strictly for the oval tracks. It's the second fastest car. There's a Speed Mini that is quicker. Um, speed Mini is a little bit more difficult to drive, so it's not quite as consistent. If you're driving in multiplayer race, yeah, the Mini's faster, but this one's a little bit smoother. Um, so you can choose which one you want, but this is the one I'm providing with you guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you next video. Later.